Hello everybody! In today's video, we will discuss Windows 10 LTSC Edition. We will explore its peculiarities, functionality, how to download it and use it in your preferred language. This edition is good for low-end PCs, as it is stripped of all unnecessary features. The LTSC Edition was developed in 2019 to replace the previous version, LTSB. LTSC is another Enterprise Edition with some functions disabled and an extended period of support. It is intended for computers and business organizations where stability of operation is valued more than tons of updates issued every few months. Due to absence of unnecessary UWP applications, you don't need to update them. The operating system downloads and installs only critical security updates, and the overall number of active processes running on your computer at any time is reduced. This is one of the explanations why Windows 10 LTSC can be installed on older computers and laptops, often having 2 GB or even 1 GB of system memory. Also, it takes up less disk space. Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. As Windows 10 LTSC is based on the Enterprise Edition, it contains all the necessary software elements and functionality required to operate within corporate networks. This build is based on version 1809 and is provided on condition of 90 days free trial. You can download Windows 10 LTSC from the Microsoft official website. I will give the link in the description. When you follow the link, you will see two versions available. Select LTSC and select Continue. Now you have to fill in the form. Give your name, surname, company name, etc. When you're ready, click Continue. At the next stage, select the operating system fitness and language. As you can see, Windows LTSC is only provided officially in a few languages, but there's nothing to worry about. Later in this video, I'll show you how to make it use your preferred language, but for now, just select English. Now click to download it. For installation, you need to create a bootable USB drive. Rufus is a good tool for the job. By default, Rufus creates a separate drive for MBR and GPT partitioning. If you don't know which partition style your disk has, it is easier to create a bootable drive adjusted to work with both. To do it, press the key shortcut Alt plus E while you are working in the program's window. After that, the following line should appear at the bottom of the window, saying Dual UFI BIOS mode enabled. Now it's time to start creating the bootable drive. Select the drive, specify the path to the ISO image of Windows LTSC that you have downloaded before. Partition scheme – MBR and target system – BIOS or UEFI. In the field File system, you can either leave FAT32 or select NTFS. You can also use an alternative link. This version comes without pre-installed UWP applications, no Microsoft Store, no Microsoft Edge browser, no gaming mode, OneDrive, or even Windows Inc. workspace. However, it does contain some of the latest features, such as the Settings app, Windows Defender and Firewall, Cloud Clipboard, and Timeline. This version lacks the new screenshot tool that can be found in other editions of Windows 10, 
but the function of capturing the screen by pressing the shortcut Windows plus Shift plus S or hitting the print screen button is still present. The only difference is that the screenshot goes to the clipboard by default. You can apply the same personalization settings to the interface of Windows LTSC as you do to all other editions of this operating system designed for ordinary users. What is more, as LTSC is based on version 1809, it can use the dark theme. After the October update, it also affects Windows Explorer. The Start menu in LTSC is simple and has none of those tiles we are used to see. However, you can pin some tiles if you want. Talking of web surfing, there is Internet Explorer at your disposal. Compared with any non-specialized edition, LTSC seems a bit faster. Of course, it's no rocket boost, but it makes using an old or low-end PC feel much nicer. As LTSC lacks most of the UWP functionality running in the background, this operating system uses less memory, though the difference is not significant at all. An idle operating system without third-party software has less background processes than Pro or Enterprise editions. I said less, but it doesn't mean a few. In a freshly installed operating system, the task manager displays about 70 to 80 processes. Talking of activation, the trial period lets you use the operating system for 90 days. If you don't activate it, all the usual changes typical for Windows 10 will start happening. Personalization options will be disabled, and when idle, the operating system will reboot every hour automatically. However, the trial period can be extended. To do it, launch the command prompt as administrator. Type the following command press Enter. In the window that opens, click OK. Close the command prompt and restart the computer. After the restart, the trial period should be reset and you will have another 90 days to enjoy the experience. If it doesn't happen after you restart the computer for the first time, do it again. Sometimes it happens if some updates were installed during the first restart. You can use this trick to extend the trial period three times which gives you a total of 360 days to evaluate the new operating system. To use the operating system in a specific language, a new language pack should be added. To do it, open Settings, Time and Language, Language, Add Language. Find your language and press Next. Check the option for Install Language Pack and set as my Windows Display Language. Install. After the installation, log off and then sign in again or restart the computer. Now go, now go back to Settings, Time and Language, Language. Then click Administrative Language Settings, Copy Settings. Check the boxes and click OK. Don't hurry to reboot. Click Change System Locale. Select your language, check the box and choose OK. Restart the computer. Finally, Windows LTSC is installed without the file explorer pinned to the taskbar. You can open it uh, with the key shortcut Windows Plus E or using the search feature. And that is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell button to receive notifications and never miss new videos. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck.